Good evening, everybody. It's Mrs. Decker here with a mystery reader book for you. I hope you're having a nice evening. Today's book is The Magician's Hat by Malcolm Mitchell. The Magician's Hat. Family fun day at the library was filled with exciting events, book scavenger hunts, storytelling, and reading rallies. Today, for the first time, a magician arrived with a big bag of tricks and a big hat. Everyone gathered around to see the magician perform. He bent a spoon just by looking at it. He made playing cards float in front of his nose. The magician could even make a coin appear from a puppy's ear. When he waved his wand, a banana vanished. This was just the warm-up act. Now the magician was ready to dazzle the crowd with his favorite trick of all. The magician's magic started with a story. When I was a kid, my mom and dad brought me to this library on Family Fun Day. During the book scavenger hunt, I wandered into the reading room. There were hundreds of books, books about dogs, books about planes, books about the sun, flowers, and rain, cities, and circus dancers. Out of the hundreds of books, one special book jumped out at me. It was a book about magic. I read and read and read every single word on every single page. I discovered that book wasn't just about magic. I learned that books are magic. Even though I was still in the library, those pages and words took me places and I had always dreamed of going there. This is how I knew I wanted to become a magician when I grew up. Soon after that, I got my magician's hat. The family fun day crowd had grown. Kids from all over town were eager to see some of the magician's magic. He asked them, what do you want to be when you grow up? Amy shouted, I want to be a dentist. The magician invited Amy to reach inside his hat. Amy dug deep, then deeper, until she felt something. It's, uh, it's a book, Amy shouted. The magician asked, what is your book about? My book's about teeth, cleaning teeth and fixing teeth and x-rays. Right away, like magic, Amy saw herself holding dental tools, a toothbrush, and a rinsing cup. But in the library where everyone else could see, Amy was hugging her book and smiling. Matt had been watching closely. After seeing Amy's magic, he wondered, what else in that hat? He called out, I want to be a famous football player. And so the magician offered Matt his hat. Let's see what magic you can find inside. Matt reached in, way down. There was something that couldn't fit into just one hand. Matt plunged both hands into that hat and pulled. It's a book about football. It even has my name on it. All at once, like magic, Matt was on the field, running and tackling, catching, punting, sometimes fumbling, sometimes falling, lots of times winning. Ryan called out from the back of the crowd, wait a second, this is not magic. Amy and Matt's parents must have told the magician what they wanted to be when they grew up. The magician asked Ryan, what do you want to be when you grow up? This was Ryan's chance to prove that the magician was a fake. He snickered and said, a dog. The magician asked Ryan to reach into the magical hat. Ryan said, I can't feel anything. Sometimes you must really reach and stretch for what you want to be. That's part of the magic, the magician said. Ryan reached deeper and deeper until his fingers grabbed onto something. He clutched a beautiful book that had nothing to do with dogs. 
Its pages were filled with letters and paintings and photos and foldouts. Stars, planets, rocket ships. Ryan had always dreamed of becoming an astronaut and exploring the wide open sky, hurtling into outer space and zooming to a far off galaxy. Whoa, whispered Ryan, how did you do that? I am not doing anything, magician said, you are. I am, asked Ryan, but there's got to be a secret trick in those books. The desires that are within you bring out the magic in these books. Follow your dreams and they will take you wherever you want to go. The magician turned his hat so everyone could see inside. What are your dreams? 